paisanos. Cock, ass, booty, ho. Cock's in the ass, you're a booty ass, ho. Cock, ass, booty, ho. Cock, ass, booty, ass, ho. Cock, ass, booty, ho. Cock's in the ass, you're a booty ass, ho. Cock, ass, booty, ho. Cock, ass, booty, ass, ho. I'm just saying what I'm trying to say. Cool breeze on a hot summer day. Welcome, everybody. Let's play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2, I guess. Good morning to you, mister. I remember this mission. This is where I go on the boat. Oh, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. 
A very good choice, sir. From all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, What's up, you, Foss? How are you doing? all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! I've been up kind of since, like, super early, so I'm a little tired right now. But you know what? Figured played a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2. Share the screen so y'all good people could see it. And, uh, yeah. You're not gonna play any freaking this uh, unlikely fellow has what's it called? Dead by Daylight tonight? Fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Yes, this is story not mode. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. I might start playing cyberpunk here in a little bit, or not a little bit, but uh, in the near future. Just cause I don't know. Seems like fun. Kind of want to play it again. Make him look like a prince, sir. To be honest, it's a pretty good game, if I'm being honest. Like, uh, when I first played this game, I had a hard time getting into it. I did get into it. Uh, let me pomade my hair. But um, I got into it, actually, pretty big time when I played it again. But when I first started playing, I literally just... I played for, like, maybe, like, two hours, and I just... I stopped. Don't really remember why, but I did. If you do have the game, I would recommend playing it. It's definitely really, really fun. There. I'm Very usually a lot smart. more talkative anime when I'm playing this game, but I don't know. Lately, I've just been like really tired, and you know, living in a house with a toddler, you do have to keep your voice down. So, come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. So, oh, I would, I would not recommend Red Dead Online. Red Dead Online's boring. Hope you have a successful it's all about the story mode, man. To the Grand Corps. Yeah, I think I only got like four hours Grand of sleep Corps, last sir. night. Like four actual, like real hours well, of sleep. Look at you. From toad? Like I'm not sleepy right now, but I just I can tell uh, that like I didn't much, get a full night's rest. Coach. We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Yeah, Minty, I think Money you should uh I think you should go take a vacation. I think it'd be good for me. you. No shuffling yeah. and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. Good stuff. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. 
but the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> you know, we have to ship a freaking boat, man. been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, so, Minty, question. Is. If you did go to okay. on a vacation Arthur, to where you said you're going to go, when would that be? Here. Like, well, when's your friend planning on going on. to, you know, where? George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now, remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Well, if it comes down to it, this is a very I'm silly time we of year, sir. So. all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But <laughs> this is super cold now. Um, two days ago, the temperature was negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Ooh, March is my birth month. You want to come hang out with me on my birthday? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. Yeah, I drink on occasion. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go. Do you man. drink? Hello, my ladies. Damn it. <coughs> Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. <laughs> Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what Here, business me... are you in? Give me literally like one minute. I'm going to take soccer upstairs. Soccer's my dog, by the way, if anybody doesn't know in chat. I'll be right back. One minute. I'll play you a song while I'm gone, but I will be right back. I'm just going to take soccer upstairs. Hey, Paisanos. <laughs>
I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sakura is now upstairs in bed. All right, let's do this. So we're going to be kicking the butt out of this freaking poker player. I'm going to win. Mr. Callahan, I'm an oil man for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. Oh, indeed you will, good sir. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. God dang it, Mr. Black. They're cowgirls. <laughs> That looks good. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. We no like offense, drink, by the way. sit Thank your you. hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An ex... Expensive one, real fine. Swiss, a Reutlinger no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. <coughs> okay, I trust you. Now play as you will. Ooh. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. <coughs> Of course, we've crossed paths. <laughs> I was Did fortunate we enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. You mean the one where I robbed him? <laughs> Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but yeah, sure. not good enough. Shit. <coughs> uh oh. Yes. Oh, I think that's a flush. Beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God yep. damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, Cassie. Yeah, uh... I guess meant if you don't, if your friend's pretty cool, I don't mind meeting them. I'm always open to meeting new people, especially if they're cool. And they know how to have a fun time and they're not weird or anything like that. Steven Anderson, it was 10 degrees here last night. And in the morning, we had a nice storm coming with 65 mile per hour winds. Not looking forward to it, but it was only for one day and then back to normal. Yeah, man, here it literally on, I want to say like Saturday. I think it was Saturday. It might have been Sunday. I don't know. It was one of those two days. But um, it literally went to negative 10 degrees. 
and holy crap it actually didn't feel that bad when i went outside but it was just like i had never been in weather that was that cold before and it's just kind of interesting like i like i've always been used to like when it's cold weather you start your car you let it run for like five ten minutes but it was like oh my god like usually the weather i dealt with like that's just what you kind of do just to be responsible but like in this weather like the electricity in my car was just like shot so i needed to let the alternator like recharge the batteries He's out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Of course, good sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not, I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. <coughs> Very good. Pip Pip Cherry Island. That was the uh next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. So Mart, I think I what know. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for them to release the game on PS5 and I'm gonna do the ten dollar upgrade and play it then. Sir, I saw it earlier and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, R2 is a fun game. Here we are. So, Minty, is your uh, is your friend cool? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. God dang it. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Wait, so you don't know this friend like IRL? It would just be like a random person you met online? I'm sure nobody on this freaking boat literally heard a fucking gunshot. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the. Ooh, is Minty gonna go on a date with her online friend? Another shot. Sure. <laughs> All right, so I got the watch. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. I've got my headshot. Different look. I'm just joking. I'm teasing, Minty. I'm sorry. <laughs> was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls. Can oh, hey, Minty, you can uh, you can play the field. You can you can hang out with me, off the side. make him jealous. Nice uniform, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Oh, indeed. To will. the bar, senor. <laughs> Hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> it's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Uh, my friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, crap. Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. This is here. Do not let him leave here. Good job, good job. Ah. Where are they coming from? Oh, 
We should all go for a date hunt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I vibe with these Colorado women. Look at me, baby. Swim to shore. Oh, for Christ's sake! Oh, no, I'm fine. It's all good. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't really use it, but uh, yeah, I do have an Instagram. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, <coughs> how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right, give me that. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. My beautiful, beautiful white. Ho Wait. I do another Mary mission? Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know of frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? I have high honor, so I think it's going to automatically Please. make me do it. If you I don't say, this way. if I don't say no, it's going to make me say yes. Come it's going so funny. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. Shall I get you know a coffee with you? No sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. <laughs> oh, the filthy rotter. 
Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. Because <laughs> he's he a wasn't drunk. always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Oh, wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me. Apology accepted. Oh, wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Hey, you do whatever you need to. Kind of sad that you're probably going to go way. to sleep before we can chat, but yeah, you do what you need to do. He went around the corner. Such a high opinion of yourself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Well, you just puked all over the ground. That's cool. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. <coughs> Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. 
He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Arre, caballo! Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Not that way. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not your place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this.
Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. <laughs> theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. The greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir Ooh. I would create in this locality as a proprietor of the greatest show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! This place we all love, called Saint Denis. They come from Rolls, Strawberry, and Valentine, yeah. singing I'll a song anywhere, and drinking you. wine across by your swamp and well, over the sea. Good. Trains are heading to the land of voodoo. You won't 
sleep a wink, I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down in San Juanee. Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> yeah! Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, look. away from the curtain. Think of anything worse. It's all nonsense.
enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body well, braziers right. of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Yeah. Oh, incredible! Yeah, cool Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Yeehaw! All right. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? 
I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. This is chapter four. Reason for vexing me. Hey, folks. This is a strong caballo. Lovely weather. Will you just go away? What is wrong with you? You're concerned I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cab. I said get out of here. Yeah. This is an outrage. <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you no? Know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean.
I am playing on the PS5. Technically, this is the PS4 Pro version, but it's I'm playing on a PS5, so, yeah. Let's see here. We'll do that one in a little bit. Uh... Oh, I remember this mission. Okay. Yeah, let's go meet the Native Americans. Um, this is the third time I played Red Dead Redemption in like a year, year and a half. So, I guess in a way, yeah, I guess I do kind of play often. This is the game I'm streaming right now. But I don't really get a lot of viewers, so I might switch my game up. Which makes me very sad because I really, 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 really do want to play this game some more. But I do kind of need some viewers at a certain point. I'm going to go use the restroom quick. I'll be right back.
Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Hello.
to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? She's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh. Uh, I go about finding more help. Help! Ah! You can't 